What's up, people of the world? It's your girl, Lala. And your boy, Siobhan. And you are listening to... Talk That Shit. With the Melvin. Hey. Do you even know the topic? No. It's your topic. It's not my topic. I could have swore it was. No, it's not. You got like... What was the all, last one we did? Um, The last thing we did was... Uh, Uh, men cry. That was my topic. It don't matter. You had like forty five. It was topics, my topic, but you had forty five. Wow, you had like it was 40, mine, but you have it was mine. To- it was mine. But you had like forty. Oh, that's mine. Stupid. <laughs> when did I become number two? Whenever you put the cords in that way. <laughs> You're an ass. Am anyway, I, um, or are you? You had like forty five topics, so why are we not going? Sh- whatever your you, your topic, you're not gonna keep using my brain. <laughs> What's your topic? <laughs> Hello. Anyway, fall is in the air. I know, right? Ooh yeah, fall is in the air. I'm excited. Is everybody excited for fall? Yeah. What do you? What made you so excited for fall? I don't know. I don't like the heat. What? No, because if the if we came out of like the springtime or the winter, I hate the spring and I hate the summer. But I'm saying you would like the fall if it wasn't no matter where it was at. Just forget (laughs) what I just said because I'm confused. I don't think it's just the weather. I think it's just the whole ambiance. The ambiance. ambiance. Well, the weather kind of sets the tone. So if it was like springtime, I don't like the spring. It was wintertime with the with those colors. You would still like it. It's not about the colors. So you don't care about the trees turning and shit. I do, but it's not about the colors. So what is it about then? Don't turn me up. We're moving on. Turn me up. We're moving on. You're turning me up. You're turning. Ah. So anyway, so it's so it's fall time. I need to lose like twenty pounds, bro. Oh, did you just do that to your neck? Anybody, do it's a lot of neck. <laughs> anybody can do that and look like a lot of neck. You s- I know I need to lose weight because my shirts look like moo moos, like a moo moo. But those are like dresses, right? They're like a dress. That would mean that you're slim. Not what? No, moo moo. People wear moo moos because they big. No, they can't fit regular. Not, no, that's like saying only fat women wear. Nightgowns. They don't. They wear moos. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking East Coasters, man. I swear. They wear moos. Sometimes. Have you ever seen my grandma something without a moo? I've never been around your grandmother when she's sleeping. She always has. She's had a moo on since. What is a moo? A moo is a big ass dress. It sounds like something some a child made up. No, it's like a, a three-year-old. No, it's like uh, it sounds like something somebody look, couldn't look pronounce. We're gonna look it up. It after sounds this. like something a three-year-old couldn't pronounce. I guess. I guess so. I guess we're gonna use one of the ones up there because uh, <coughs> those are some good-ass ones, though. We can't do the second one because I need people to do that. And we need people for the first one. What's the first one? Well, not the first one. I was one. about to say. The one yeah. in red. Yeah. We need one. And then. I would like to have grandparents on for the grandparent one. Okay. I mean, so we got two that we could do. We could do the top one in blue or the bottom one in black. If those are what you want. <laughs> that one up the front. The top is. You put that up there. Let's talk about that. I don't understand that that's shit. That's an ongoing conversation. I don't understand that shit. It, you know what's crazy about that? What we all right? Look, the topic is why who do who eats first? Who eats first? <laughs> why is everything is like let me make your daddy plate first? Why? Because he 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 paid the bills and the you know what I mean? Like I don't understand that situation. Okay, so I was on um no shit. I was on. I guess I was on. No, fuck (laughs) no. Uh, First of all, I'm not even supposed to be cursing, so let me correct myself, okay? Every time I curse, I have to correct myself because that's the only way I'm going to stop cursing. But, um, 
No, I was scrolling on IG, Instagram, uh-huh. and um, it was one of them little real things or whatever, and the girl was basically saying how it'll never make sense to her how any man or woman feels like they, sh- they should come before the child in the sense of, she's it, it, in her eyes, she said in any sense. I don't necessarily agree mm-hmm. with that. Um, but she was more so speaking on, um, the whole eating, like who's like, who, who gets their, who gets their plate first. So like when you eat dinner or I guess even breakfast, I'm not really sure exactly which meal people refer to or if they refer to all meals, Mm -hmm. but, um, she was just saying like, she'll never in her lifetime agree with putting, giving uh, her husband or her man his plate prior to the kids, the kids eating that the kids should go first. Mm. So in the comments, people were calling her silly and telling her she must not have a man or telling her, Oh, you must not have kids, which she states that she doesn't have children, but she was saying for future purposes. Oh. Um, <laughs> and then they took it around with it. People huh? were saying, um, like she should read her Bible or read the Bible. Why that has anything to do with anything, I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah. So they were calling her silly, calling her names, et cetera, et cetera, telling her that, you know, that's how it's supposed to be because he pays the bills and all that other stuff. So that's what that. That's what that stemmed from. Yes. That's crazy though, because I, I, I mean, I'm. I'm opposite. I think the person that's like slaved over the mill, I think once they turn that last burner off or if you a microwave person, after you let the microwave go off, I feel like your place should be made first at all times because you are the one. It's like, but it's like women that cook or anybody that cooks, they quite naturally make everybody else plate because they like, Ooh, you know what I mean? I want to, I want to get the food out nicely because I want everybody to be excited for eating. But I think you should be like, I think the man should be like, yo, sit down so I can get your plate. But even, or even like ask like, hey, would you want me to make you plate? Or you sit down. I mean, it's it's just the thought that counts to me. Because the nine times out of 10, you're going to be like, no, I got it. Sit down. Here you go, uh, kids. Here you go, daddy. You know what I mean? You done? Because I, I want to go ahead and go. Go, go ahead. Go ahead <laughs> okay, go ahead, go so. Ahead. Here's how I see it. Uh-oh. I can understand both sides, but coming from a person, meaning me, who has been a stay-at-home mom slash housewife, if you choose, um, mm-hmm. that title. Mm-hmm. Homemaker is what the the technical term is, is what is it is. It? Yeah. Homemaker. They have, like... Um, a book? No. <laughs> on certain, like... Um, I don't want to say like applications, but if you do like questionnaires or things like that, they'll have um, where it says like job title. When in like if oh, you it put does the say drop bar, sometimes yes. it'll say like homemaker. So I understand the idea of um, People saying like, oh, my husband should eat first because they're looking at it from a standpoint of like, OK, I'm home and dinner. What By the time he gets home, dinner should be cooked technically, because, you know, when you're looking at it from a standpoint of like, OK, he been at home. I mean, at work all day and I'm here, you know, things are done around the house. Kids are good. I'm going to cook dinner at a specific time. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. So when he comes in, yeah, he could get a plate. Cool. I understand like where they're coming from. And then also if you're religious and you are abiding by the Bible, which let me be clear, a lot of you guys don't actually abide by the Bible. So you're full of shit. But anyway, cursing um, I language, mean, full of crap, language, full of crap. So um, I totally understand where they're coming from when they say that and why they feel that way. I was also raised in the church and taught those same um guidelines as far as the bible goes 
Okay. Me personally. What guidelines are those? Please go into that. It's just how the man is the head of the household and how like he should be treated, basically. Like he's the king and the queen is like although she's his equal, not really his equal, bro, because she like waits on him hand and foot. But that makes no sense because if you play the game of chess, the queen is more is more everybody in but you got <coughs> you you have to know that though. Everybody doesn't know that. Everybody does not know that. Right. So anyway, um so I don't and I don't want to say like he's actually the king, but that's kind of sort of the context around it. Like if you really look at it, that's how people portray those roles. He is like the king and <laughs> she's the queen. She stands by. She's she Oh, you know, you didn't watch Sabrina. Um anyway, doesn't matter. So It does. So now cuz I have to watch it now. So, um, so yeah, I understand that aspect of it, but I also understand the aspect of people like I will never put myself or my husband in, in that particular situation. I would never give my husband a plate before my children eat. You know what I'm saying? Because you're looking at it from a defenseless child's point of view, a child who cannot nourish and nurture themselves. You're looking at it from a standpoint of. I have to protect and you're at, at the end of the day, you're a mother and it's a lot different than being a father, not saying it's less important, but it is a lot different. It's a, it, the, the bond that you share with a child as a mother is different oh, yeah, definitely. than the bond that you share as and I'm not saying like I said no, 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 I'm no. not saying it's any more important than the other because they're both very very important uh -huh. and I think they both go very deep but it's just different as a mother the bond that you share with your children so right. it's more of like a protective like instinctual thing than it is oh you just not no I'm not doing that because these my kids no it's not that it's more just like mommy making sure her babies are cool yeah, it's what's, what's weird about that is, uh, like I told you before, like, y'all, what y'all do, what y'all have been through with kids and stuff, like, starting from getting pregnant, getting pregnant, all the way till you guys are having a kid. Starting from having periods, because without those, we can't have kids, so we gotta start there. That's true. It, it, men can never. Yeah, so, and, never. Th and that's why I say it's not that it's, like, more important or not not as deep, it's just different yeah it's different so i understand why a lot of people say those types of things um me personally again coming from someone that is um and has been for a very long time a stay-at-home mother housewife house homemaker whatever you want to call it mm -hmm. um when i cook dinner Nobody eats before anybody. <laughs> we all eat together. Yeah, eat the same time. You get what I'm saying? Because if I hand you your plate prior to me and your children sitting down, one, you're eating alone. And two, it just shows that you have no no manners. You have no morals. No, There's no real collaborative effort mm -hmm. in us being a family if you feel like you need to be eating prior to anybody else eating. What's That's what just manners. What's funny is, uh, like, if... I'm like hungry and I'm looking at this food and I'm like, it's so good. And I'll take a bite. You'd be like, really? I just think it's rude. Really? Or even chum. You'd be like, I think it, I, j I personally, yeah. I think if I'm handing out plates, like if there's been times I'll make everybody's plate at, at the, the same, same exact time. time. Like I'll put all five of our plates because it is five of us, mm -hmm. all five of our plates on the counter and I will make each plate. <laughs> you know, with whatever oh God, our meal is. So Sorry. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, and then, good? shut up. And then I will tell everybody, okay, dinner's ready. Everybody come get your plate. We sit down. Boom, we can eat together. But I don't think anybody should be eating before anybody. To me, it's just rude. Right. Like, you don't go to somebody's dinner party. Or you don't go to Thanksgiving dinner with your family and then... Before anybody says grace, before grandma says grace, you get up and you'll, you go get a plate and you start eating. A lot of y'all going to get cussed the fuck out. People, oh, it's not the same. No, it is the same because it's just manners. It's just manners. you never seen it before? Seen what before? Somebody eat before. No, absolutely not because in my family, you get fucked up behind some shit like that. 
my nana, no, she's not playing them type of games. Not my papa, nobody. Papa didn't even do that. He would never. He he wouldn't get up to say grace. He'll sit in his spot. Mm-hmm. While we say grace, we get around the table. We say grace. Sometimes he'll come and he'll join hands with us. We say grace. Mm-hmm. Then I go in the kitchen. She make him his plate. Then we all, each family would make their plate. My mom would make her kids. My auntie would make her and her whoever. <laughs> and we would do it like that. Because it was, I mean, it was a lot of us. Lot Grandma, of us. Nana wasn't going to sit in the kitchen and, and serve everybody. You sit down and eat because you've already been cooking. You know what's crazy? Me thinking about that? Well, I didn't have Thanksgiving dinners like like how you had. Yeah. It wasn't like that in my family. Well, your family, it, it wouldn't be. And no shade. But <laughs> oh, that was a sh- <laughs> No shade. Bernie Key watched this. She probably like, what? No what shade. What are you trying to say? No, I'm just saying yeah, it, was, it, it wouldn't be. Y'all nah, didn't have that type of dynamic. Nah, yeah, because it would Y'all don't be have like, that type of dynamic even now. Nah, because it would be like she would cook, and then people throughout the day would just come get a plate. And she'd be like, it's done. You'd be like, but what the heck? Like, okay. Yeah, no. Um, but as a family, I feel like if we're going to, as a, if we're a family, we do things as a family, mm-hmm. we should be eating as a family. And that does not mean that you get your plate first. That means we get our plates together. So and if, if you get your plate first, you don't start eating until everybody else has sat down and we are eating together. So, so by you saying that, does that like in our family dynamic, does that like change the roles in our family? Because we don't go by roles in our family. So what do you mean change the roles? I'm like, confused. like you know how they be like, the man takes the trash out. If the trash is, is full, somebody in here going to take the trash out. If the out. trash is full, somebody takes the trash out. Yeah. It don't matter but who you, it but is. You, but you know how, like, a lot of families are based on roles in the family. Like, yeah. oh, you don't touch that because that's your daddy's. And it's like. Yeah, no, I don't. I what don't, are I don't, you talking about? That's, I don't it's in t- the refrigerator. <laughs> um, There's no such thing. Right. Because I feel like right. when you when you put those type of um, roles, roles or even like limitations, mm-hmm. um, it just it I feel like it creates a lot of confusion. You know what I'm saying? Like even even being raised in the church, hearing those things like for me it didn't make sense then. You know what I'm saying? Like the roles, yeah. Like oh, yeah. he's head of the household and. I do what he says, and he makes the decisions for our family. Absolutely not. Because it's how is that a collaborative effort? How is that teamwork? It's not. If he is, what the hell was Look that? At. I kind of want to see what the fuck that was. Look real quick. It was like a big-ass marble slab or something. That was wild. Like Jurassic. <laughs> Um, what was I saying? I don't know, but Area 54 just fucked us <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, I know. Man. I was like, what the hell? Um, um the roles. Yeah, just so, yeah, like being raised in a church here and that's, it just never made sense. Like, he makes the decisions for our family. That whole, like, submitting, that, none of that ever really made sense to me. Even broken down, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, I understand the concept of what you guys are saying, like, oh, I have to trust him. I have to be able to know I trust him, and then I'll submit, meaning, like, like if you if you know what the word submit means, it means to give over all power. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, right, that right. means that you have no say-so in anything. So I think maybe using a different mm-hmm. word. I think that means uh, submit is, like, another form of word of slavery. Like, you're going to be my master. That's and that's one of those negative narratives that it gives, yes. Right. But at the same time, like I said, I understand what people are talking about when they say they submit or they say like, oh, well, you're he's the head of the household. He pays the bills. and you know. But at the end of the day, it's still a team effort because although he pays the bills, if you weren't home How would taking care of the kids, cleaning, cooking, et cetera, he would have to pay his bills and he would have to come home and do all of those. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's still a team effort. So no one is above the other. Like bills don't come before the house being clean. You feel what I'm saying? But you know what's crazy? I used to always say that. I used to be like, it's you more important than me because I'm just going to do the easy shit. Right. You know what I mean? And like I said, even during pandemic and we were home with the boys for 365 days, (laughs) I was like, Yo, you're you're the you're the goat. Like you dealt with and this I, every day. But I think that's why. I mean, you ask any stay-at-home mom. 
I'm not going to say any, but you ask a lot of stay-at-home moms if they genuinely enjoy being a stay-at-home mom, they're going to tell you no. No. And they're going to tell you how hard it is, and mm-hmm. they're going to tell you that it, people that tell you they love it are full of shit. Yeah. And then people that say, oh, I wish I could be a stay-at-home. No, you don't. No, you no. don't. No, you don't. Because the expectation behind it, especially depending on who you're with, the expectation behind it is almost like, bitch, you're not doing anything. So I expect you to do everything. And it's like, whoa. Yeah, like okay. If I wasn't doing all of this over here, none of this would function because you're over here doing all of this. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And I don't think people put those two things together and say, but it is actually like, it's supposed to be a team effort. You know, and if you if you really sit back and you think about it, it is a team effort. So why is one eating before the other simply because he makes money? Oh, because you left the house for eight hours, eight to 10 hours, and you sat in a chair at a desk or because you were on a construction site for eight hours. That makes you more important or your your role in this family more important than mine. Why you pick those two? Uh, I don't joking. know. <laughs> I'm just joking. That Constru- was just a- you said all men are construction no, workers? No, 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 they no, no. All that w- I don't know. That was just the first two things that popped in my head. Super corporate and then outside. I don't know why that popped in my but it did. <laughs> like that I don't fucking know. But very sexist. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like... I don't know, because cause I f- like that idea of like, oh, no, he eats. The Bible says, screw the Bible. Honestly, like screw what the Bible has to say. Does that make sense, though? Like outside of what the Bible is telling you, does that actually make sense? Like he comes home and you have to make like I've seen people say things like, oh, yeah, um, I'm going to run your shower and I'll have your clothes ready for you. And I'm like, huh? Right. What do you you fucking That's a a grown grown man. man. Like, what do you mean? Have his clothes. He is not a three year old that you have to bathe. Mm -hmm. I'm confused. He is a grown man. Mm -hmm. And if he wanted his mother to take care of him still, he should be with his mother. I do. But but it's weird. But I do like there is something that you do. you be like, all right, as soon as you come and go straight to the shower, I got it on. (laughs) Well, but that's because what you're what your. Um. If you sweat a lot at work, yeah, and I know that. Let's just say, like, let's just say, like, you've been working for days because there's been times where you've been working for days and I haven't really seen you, and I'm like, oh, he has an off day. Oh, yeah, we about to have so much fun. Daddy's coming home, guys. Mm-hmm. First thing, he's like, oh, I'm on my way home. All right, bet. Let me know when you close. I'm gonna start your shower mm-hmm. because I know you're gonna stink because you've been <laughs> not that you haven't come home from work, but the fact that. Whatever it is that you're working on, you've been moving around a lot. And I know that you, in particular, sweat. sweat. A lot of men sweat. I sweat. So you're going to stink when you come. I don't want to kiss you and hug you when you stink. Go Mm. take a shower. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start your shower for you because the sooner you get in the shower, the sooner I get to love on you. Right. That's what that is. It's not about me being like, I'm the perfect wife. Let me start his shower and have his meal ready. Well, first of all, why'd you make it a Snow White song? (laughs) Because that's that idea. Uh, Like, that's what that, that, like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't think I would have ever been with a woman like that. Like, oh my god! The women in my family are like that, and it really irks me. I would never have been. It really <laughs> like it 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 like when I I've even seen to the point where it's like like when I make your plate, I make your plate. I'm not asking you, babe. All soft spoken, babe. What do you want to eat? What do you want? Mm-hmm. If you have to ask then you don't know if you. he wants everything that you cooked. There's a problem there. There's a problem. There, you don't know you. You already you don't, don't know, know him. Them. There's there's a, there's an issue. right? One right Yo, there. Like I looked at you crazy one night because you was like, you want this? I'm like, I'm, I, both. What are you talking about? <laughs> Did you just ask me what I want? Because remember you was like, do you want mashed potatoes or do you want the... the, the oh, no. The, I was asking which type of potato because we had just had one type. And I was like, do we want to have those again or do we want to make them different? I was like, whatever. It wasn't me it, asking uh, you, do you want potatoes? Like, oh, my God, does he eat potatoes? I know you eat potatoes, but no. do should I... It was more of should I do it this way or should I do it that way? Whatever because way we just did it. did it this way two days ago. And I don't want to make the same thing over. Yeah, no, nah, you could have That's did totally it. different. You could have did it over easy eggs. I would have been like, I'm, bet. We're talking about potatoes, <laughs> I know. So. Potatoes over easy eggs. I'm so confused. Bet. Anyway. Uh, um, Jack in the Box, do not take our idea. Jack in the Box. Over easy potato eggs. Well, it's puh with a P, puh. not buh, potatoes. 
No, it's going to be ghetto. It's going to be a country dude on the front like this. <laughs> with no teeth. Like, <laughs> over, over easy potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so done. <laughs> but no, nah, I, yeah, I feel like you don't know your, like, there's been plenty of times where I order something and I'll be like, I got you what you wanted. You'd be like, how do you know? And then they come, you'd be like, man. <laughs> well, no, I mean, for, we've been together for a million years. So at this point, if we don't know what each other like, then that's a problem. Um, right. But at the same time, it's just like, what happens What happens when you work and he works? Who's the breadwinner then? And who's supposed to eat first? That's why I say, how does that make sense? Or does that not apply to those situations? Because that's wild to that's me. That's because they're uh, doing takeout. So it's whoever pulls their fork out the fastest. So you're saying when when both people work in relationships, it's usually a takeout meal nobody's cooking? It's normally like a, I'll pick up takeout tonight. You always see that. I don't always see anything. I don't have any friends. so I Well, I'm know. saying on movies. Like, honey, I'll pick up. Well, I don't look at movies as reality all you the should. time. No, you shouldn't. You should because the Hulk is real. Thanos is real. You're stupid. Scarlett Johansson's real. <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> No, nah, but I I don't know. I just, I just think that they would be like, who's picking up takeout take tonight? Because there's been plenty of times where you'd be like, I don't feel like cooking. Yeah, but. I've been busy. You've been busy. Yeah, but me not feeling like cooking one time is totally different than a couple saying, let's eat takeout every single time that we have to come home together. You get what I'm saying? That's true. That's, that's true. That's totally different. I don't I don't honestly, the, the, the topic of it is, I mean, we went into roles, but. I mean, because that's ultimately what it boils down to. People saying, well, in the Bible, he says that he is the head of the household and that he should this and he should that. And it's like. I think when you start putting the rules in there is when the problems start to happen. Nobody ever speaks about that, though. No, it's but it's an expectation of like you're supposed to do that. it's, It's like this, right? If I'm at work and I'm from a family where there is roles that your mom did the dishes, washed the clothes. And did all the things, and then when I come home, and the dishes and the and the <laughs> and the clothes are still in the hamper, you gonna be like, "What you do all day?" And it's like, motherfucker, like I was, I was fucking tired. Like, but see, and that's the thing. That's why I was saying people be like, "Oh, when you're a stay at home mom, you don't do anything all day." Um, what? What? Right. And then the one the one time that I choose not to do something, they got a problem. It's like, oh my god, you're so lazy. You don't do this. You don't do that. I would be like, motherfucker. I mean, mother effer. Like, don't you? Didn't you have a day off? N- not even that. No, 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 no. What I'm trying to say is that's the same as saying like, yeah, you get your days you off. Your days Why off I can't too? get a day off because right. they don't feel like you're doing anything. You don't need a day off because you're at home. You have time to sit down. But if you sit at a desk all day, you're sitting down, right? You ain't doing nothing. You're not doing anything. I say that all the time. So what's the difference between me getting up and doing things randomly throughout the house that need to be done or picking kids up from school and taking them to practices and things of that Chicago. nature? I used to tell you that. I used to be like, yo, my job is more of a mental thing. Like if I'm sitting there. Everything is mental. And your job, like people be like, oh, my God, I'm so stressed. Okay. Try being in four walls of your own space right. with just you as an adult. And you don't have nobody to talk with to. With children all day, every single day. Let's talk about mental. Let's really talk about that. Mm-hmm. People swear their job stress them out. You may love your kids to death because I know I do. But at the end of the day, being in four walls, whether it's your house and you love it or not, it come it becomes stressful at a point. Yeah, it does. Nobody actually wants to do it. We did it because it made more sense than me going to work for a paycheck that's going to go to daycare. Right. When he makes twice or three times, four times as much as I could ever. So it just doesn't even make sense. You letting everybody know I'm a stripper? <laughs> <laughs> killing. More like a male escort. <laughs> I mean, I'm bringing in the big bucks. <laughs> oh, take home them cougars. <laughs> I'm just playing. Ugh. <laughs> they pay for good money. Ugh. No, hey, baby, come here. Let me pay your mortgage. <laughs> but yeah, that's what it ultimately boils down yeah, to. Rose, like I think Rose is a fucked. I mean, it's a it's a messed up situation. Yeah. And and it's it's something that is being passed down, and people still. Make I mean, it a, uh, go ahead. They make it a a big thing. Well, they're like, oh, he needs his strength, and 
you know, he was gone all day. And it's almost, it's almost, mm. it's almost as if you're being told to be a mother twice. Twice, right. Yep. Because here's the thing, right? We know as mothers, when it comes to our children, we look to nurture our children. Right. We look to protect our children. We look to help our children flourish in whatever way it is we want to help them flourish, right? Right. It's almost as if people are telling you, you need to nurture that man. Mm -hmm. They do. They do. I do. I do need to nurture him. But I'm not nurturing him as if he's a child because right. that's what he's not. Mm -hmm. And then people wonder why these men Be are acting boys like, acting like little kids instead kid. of men. You know, it's crazy, though, because having that, let's say, title or role of a man of the house, if you want to say that, you should be going 10 times harder. So when you get off of work, knowing the stipulation of you and your woman, you should be like, I'm going to put another 10 hours in. I mean. Like me coming home from work ain't shit. Now when I do when I'm home from work. I guess maybe work. that's my question. How many men actually put in? How many men like. <laughs> Ooh, you like, like, okay, you go to work. Uh -huh. Your wife is a homemaker. Mm -hmm. Stay at home wife home mother whatever you want to call it making a home and you get off of work okay now let's just say she is the kind of wife that will run your shower for you and mm -hmm. have your clothes prepared let's say that as soon as you step out of the shower she hands you a plate of food okay and you go ahead and eat it you go ahead and eat it eat it what no you know what i mean like after you've gotten dressed and things like that okay um damn after you eat What's do going? you become a father and husband, or do you go do whatever it is that you yeah, want to do? Yeah, listen. That's my question. Listen, because I, I, I've made you, I've made you, and I've made our family comfortable, a priority mm -hmm. all day, up until the point where you got home and you've eaten. You have been a priority, and even after that, because those women that make that a priority like that, they continue to cater to slash serve you mm -hmm. the, as their husband, as the head of the household, right? Mm -hmm. When do you return the favor? Or is it not a thing because you don't feel like she's doing as much as you? Listen, That's the real question. Listen, I've heard stories where they were like, if I'm off work, don't bother me. I'm going to eat. I'm going to drink. My, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a beer. And I'm going to go to wherever. I'm, Are those I'm, in instances of housewives, though? Yes. With children. Uh, now some of them with children, some of them without children. Some of them might even have like a little job. And so they just prefer to be catered to and then have, have their, to have, have their, their time. uh, their individual. I've told, I've told you before that one of them, one, somebody I know. Yeah, I know right, in particular who you're talking about. Sunday don't bother me. If I'm off, if, if, if I got off work on Saturday, which yeah. the majority of the time is Sunday yeah. don't bother me. Don't even talk to me. That's think, my time to wind that's down. that's very strange. I think it's I think it's one thing to take a day or two for yourself just to, you know, re relax, rejuvenate. I think that's one re thing. Rejuvenate is being with my woman. No, it's not. No, no. Everybody, men and women, both in in relationships and not in relationships, everybody needs a moment to breathe. That's what you're saying. To breathe, oh, yes, I get what you're and I get not what you're that you're suffocating me, but let me just come back centered. Let me center myself. Let me relax for a moment just you know what i'm saying everybody needs that it doesn't matter what your situation is now to simply be like every sunday just leave me the f alone i think that's just kind of strange yeah they like uh, or then like or if you'll be like if you want to show and you'd be like what you do last night oh man i went home uh wife made me some dinner and i just sat on the couch and watched the game all night and it's like so then the question to me becomes, again, what happens after that? Like, if she says, come take a shower with me, are you going to take a shower with her? Are you going to take a shower with her because you want to, or are you going to take a shower because maybe it leads to some sexual activity? Are you going to even get up for sexual activity? Or, uh, listen. or do you want to play a game? Like, if she says, oh, can you come want to play Uno? Like, I'd be like, oh, let's go get the Moncala, bro. I'm about to whoop that up. How many people you think actually 
Shit. How many people you think actually do that? Honestly. What play games with each other? All the stuff you just said. I think there's a lot of people that do that with each other. But I think that those people they're not so How many personally do you know? None. <laughs> I don't have any friends though that have relationships. Uh, not even just friends, family, whatever. How many friends? Mm. I knew one, but that that doesn't exist. My papa's gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> He's what gone, the? so it doesn't. It, I mean, I mean, it's special person though. How many? How many? How many people you know in a relationship where they where they posting? I just bust their ass in Mon Cala. I mean, everybody don't have to post everything. Well, so I mean, it's a lot that we wouldn't know, but yeah, but you know, I mean, unless somebody is just constant. That's why I say it, it has to be people that I know. I don't have friends that have relationships that do those types of things. And um, I, and people I know don't. They don't even talk Mon Cala. What's that? And Uno, huh? as far as family goes, like I said, it was that one. I think, you know, now as an example, maybe one, maybe one or two more, actually, when I think a little deeper, I'm not going to say who it is. I'll tell you later. But, um, yeah, maybe one or two. Okay. Um, I got none. <laughs> 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 you know who was like that? My mom. What? Play the game. Like play you, but your mom is very. Um, she's very. Uh, she's a. She's a hypocrite when it comes to relationships. <laughs> <in that sense. laughs> Just saying. I mean, because one minute she's like, <laughs> like she told me. I told you, she Tanya, was, you are a hypocrite. One, one minute she's like, oh my man, my man, my man. Oh, I want to be. Um, I I I, I want to cater to him. Like I can cook dinner for him, and <laughs> but then it's like. If he told you to sit down that he doesn't want you to go to work, you're gonna be like, No, I'm going to work. I'm gonna go ha- I'm gonna make sure I have my own because I don't know what could happen. That right there, and you supposed to be a Christian woman. You supposed to be abiding Ooh, by these Christian. You're supposed to be abiding by she these is a Catholic. biblical laws, um, and such. She is Jewish. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like I don't know. She's she, she a little flip up. Ah, you yeah, tight she lady, you little. Uh, I don't she, know. She, she, she more. Uh, because okay, we know her personally, and it's not. I'm not gonna put her business out there like that in story mode. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's why I'm like, she like, uh, we know certain things that y'all don't know. That's uh, why I'm saying what I'm saying. Yeah, I'd be she like, know though. She knows she a little hypocrite ish. I don't know if that's a word. Hypocrite ish. Hypoc- she a little contradictory. She, <laughs> she a little. She a little shuffleless. <laughs> you guys say contradictory. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put contradict it. It's shuffle, 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 a shuffle, shuffle. Yeah, she don't know anyway. Yeah. yeah, but um. Yeah. Yeah. She is. You know she what? She really is. Yeah. Ah, yeah. That's the, that's gonna be the thumbnail. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything wrong with people that feel that their man should eat first. You know, that's how you feel. If that's, choose how, if that's how you choose to run your family, then so be it. But I also feel like don't drill that shit into the rest of your your kids just because that's what you believe in. Like, maybe you can mention it and explain to them why you feel that way. Mm-hmm. But, like, like, like your mom told me one time, Sometimes you have to stroke a man's <laughs> ego. And I was like, girl, you got the wrong one. <laughs> Not going to happen. Not in any lifetime would I ever. I think that's the problem with men right now. Their egos get stroked. And nobody's telling them the realness. Yeah, I would never do that. I think I think their, their ego's been stroked so much that they think that they're better than what they are. And then when they come across a woman... And they, the woman be like, you trash. They be like, you're just a fucking hater. Yeah. I mean, you're just a, a hater. Yeah. It's like, no, you've the women that you had prior to me have stroking your ego. So now you think you King Kong. And really, you're Pee Wee. And <laughs> <laughs> you're Pinky in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> the little intro. You know what I mean? So... And we're just talking about all aspects. I feel like that that's with women, too. There's so many men that be, like, pumping women here. You bad. You dish. You that. You know what I mean? Blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, if you, like, if if you're allowing ego strokes or comments to fill your head, then, to me, that already shows how insecure and 
uh, low self esteem you have. That's what that to me. That's what the, it just got like dog. Mm-hmm. That's what it shows in my eyes, and I could be you know looking at it the wrong way or, or whatever the case may be. But what I'm saying is, there's nothing wrong with how you choose to run your family. If you choose that the Bible and the Bible's laws are the way you choose to run your family and live your life, then so be it. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like, let it happen. Ain't nothing wrong with that. If you right. and your man agree mm-hmm. that that's how you choose to raise your family, I feel like that's great. But when it comes to them babies, if there's babies involved, I feel like don't, don't like shove that sh- stuff down their throat. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think that that's, uh, Fear. Yeah, you don't give people a chance to to so, to so grow up and have their own opinion. And by the time they do grow up and have their own opinion, it's almost like too late. And then now it's like they have to beat themselves to beat that out of them to relearn or to, to unlearn things so that they can learn new things that they want to learn. You know what I'm so saying? So what's the difference between that and, and families just passing down? what they believe there's nothing there's there's nothing different but that's that's the point if that's how you like i said if that's how you choose to live your life meaning your relationship and you feel like that's what you would like your children the same path you would like your children to go down i feel like that's totally fine to teach them that and explain the process and why it is that you choose to live that way. Because I think everything needs an explanation. Because without explanations, how do we really understand? You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, so fully explain the process and help them understand why it is that you choose to live that way. And then let them decide if that's how they, you know, once they get of age or whatever, if that's how they. Because I feel like this. Oh. I feel like this. Okay. And correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I'm because right now. I'm really curious. When we teach our children. Look at them. You see the arms the same? (laughs) When we teach our children to. As okay, as as young women, if your mother is teaching you to put your man. um, First. First. Uh Right. Like, oh, make sure you do this for him and cater to him and nurture him and he needs this and stroke his ego like you know what i'm saying if you're teaching your child that dynamic your daughter that dynamic of man she's going to treat every man that she comes (laughs) comes into contact with and you see it all the time Mm -hmm. i've heard men even be like well why would i why would i marry her if why would i why would i treat why would i why would i make her wifey if she's not giving wifey material prior to that you don't get wifey material until I'm a wife. wife. <laughs> so if I'm not a wife, why, why do you think you deserve wifey treatment? You get boyfriend treatment, and boyfriend treatment is you take me on dates, I take you on dates, and we coexist in separate homes or together, however you choose to do so. But while we're existing together, we're not out here playing house so unless that's what we're doing. So what's the difference between boyfriend treatment and boyfriend, boyfriend behavior? Husband? No. I'm so confused. Say that again. Boyfriend treatment and boyfriend behavior. What's the difference? (laughs) Boyfriend. I'm so confused. What's the difference between boyfriend treatment and boyfriend behavior? Say it again. Boyfriend treatment. And boyfriend behavior. (laughs) (laughs) You're so childish, bro. <laughs> You're so childish. The, I, you can't. I, you can't. What's you you can't get boyfriend <laughs> treatment if you're not given boyfriend behavior. What is boyfriend? Show behavior? me that you can at least be my friend. Show so me that far. you can at least be my friend. You so did you see that that look we just gave you? No. Before? Show me that you can at least be my friend because boy friend, you're a boy. That is a friend. Mm-hmm. We have to be able to be friends in order to get to the next step, right? So what does that it consist of being friends, though? Like, what is that? Is that hanging, texting, talking? I think you have those are things that have to be spoken about. So, like, if you say, oh, okay, would you like, uh, I would like it if you were my girlfriend. I don't know how guys ask girls to be 
they're girlfriends. Do you want to be my girlfriend? Can you be my girlfriend? May I have you as my girlfriend? I don't know how that goes. How have everybody asked you to be their girlfriend? Mm, I don't recall you asking me. I remember you trying to. I didn't say me. I said everybody else. I could tell you how ours, ours happened. I know how ours happened, but I don't remember if you actually saying those words, do you want to be my girlfriend? Yes, or I can did. you be my girlfriend? Yes, I did. I don't think you did. Yes, I did. You have a horrible memory, though. Yes, I did. <laughs> sure, man. Um, I've yeah. only been asked one other time, and it was, I think it was a can you be my girlfriend? I don't really remember, honestly. Can you be my girlfriend? Will, will you be my girlfriend? I don't really know. Have I know it was a definitely thing. question form. I just don't know what it was. but That was a long time ago? Long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Long enough, you are but um, yeah. So like, I think when somebody asks you to be their girlfriend, or you asking someone to be their boyfriend or be your boyfriend, um, I think that it should be a conversation of like, well, what is expected? Are we committing to one another as boyfriend and girlfriend? Like, meaning, are we only dating us? Because you can have a boyfriend, but you're not committed to it. What are you committed to? What am I committing to? Me. Why? No, no, no. I'm saying that's me. But I'm saying why? Because you're going to be my girlfriend. But why? Why are you going to be my girlfriend? Why am I committing to you? Because I... I, I, I There's I a lot of people that think, like, just because you're my boyfriend doesn't mean shit because we're not committed to one another. Right. But that's why I'm saying, if you're not if you're not having that conversation of what is expected when we declare each other as boyfriend and girlfriend, then... So, so you're saying, like, if we're a boyfriend and girlfriend... And as a chick at my house, you're not you're not supposed to get mad because we talked about no commitment. Like, explain right. it to me. Right, right. If you're my boyfriend and we've had the conversation, like, okay, we're boyfriend and girlfriend, but we're having an open relationship, meaning we could see other people, we could date other people, or if we're boyfriend and girlfriend, but I want it to just be us. If we agree that it's just me and you, that's when the cheating comes into. You know what I'm saying? And it comes into play. Yeah, that, that, You know those, what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like, you have to, I feel like you kind of have to have those conversations. But. You think, oh. If you're, if we make this agreement to be boyfriend and girlfriend and be committed to one another and only date each other in that commitment, um, but you are doing other things, then you're not even boyfriend material. So why would you get boyfriend treatment? You feel me? No, I feel you. Some people don't break up and they just stay together. You know what I'm saying? Like, you be a boyfriend and girlfriend, he cheat or she cheat, and y'all don't break up, even though you realize like he's not being committed. That's not boyfriend treatment, or that's not girlfriend treatment, I should say. You're not tr being treated as you're his girlfriend. You're being treated just as any other side. Right, right. You feel what I'm saying? So you're not really treating each other like, so you'll never get to wifey or husby, hubby uh, uh, status or whatever the hell you want to call it. I get you. I get what you're saying. So, yeah, so it's like, why would I give you wifey treatment if I'm not your wife? And some people say, oh, well, you have to show that sure, you could be yes. a wife. But you have to show that you could be a husband. You also have to show that you could be trusted. You have to show to be a good guy. You have to show just to be a good person in general. Right. Like if I can trust, <laughs> it's like if I can trust you to do this thing, I can trust you to do this big stuff. But if I can't trust you to even go pay this bill for $115, how can I trust you in my life? Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like you can't expect wifey treatment. If she's not your wife, because that's not her role. <laughs> and that's not the role that she signed up for. She's only your girlfriend. You so, no, she's not going to nurture you like she's your mother. She's mm -hmm. not going to treat you like you're her child. Like, it's just not going to happen because that's not what she signed up for. She signed up to be your girlfriend, not your wife. And until you decide or until she decides to ask you if you want to get married or you ask her, does she want to get married? Ha. Until that comes along, you just no one is really obligated to do anything. And even in the marriage, you're still not obligated to do it. still should be a I want to because I love you. So let me ask you this question, though, since we're talking about roles. Eating first. We always, I feel like time. we always talk about this. No. Go ahead. Oh, rolls. Okay. So why is it so looked upon down, looked down upon when a woman goes after a man that they want? Because women don't feel like that's ladylike. It's never been um, generations before us feel like a woman. That's not how a lady should act. A lady, like you, you see this man. He's 
He's cool. He's your best friend. I mean, but you gotta you gotta think about it. Even in um, in animal form, right? Like when it's mating season, you. I mean, we watch enough Animal Planet and all Discovery. We are Animal Planet, basically. You know, (laughs) and you see it all the time. Mating season, the men are trying to impress the woman. It's never the woman trying to impress these men to get these men. It's always the men are battling it out to have to mate with this particular hippo. But what if the woman is impressing us by doing little things? Like just walking by and that catwalk is like, Yeah, it's but it's like, not oh intentional. Shit, let me just But it's not intentional. <sighs> in in like animal form, it's not intentional. Now in human form, it's just been said and for whatever reason, I don't know where this came from. For whatever reason, it's been like portrayed that women should never Ask a man to marry her or women should never be the first one to approach a man. And when that has happened, it's always been like, oh, she's super assertive or that's true. She's way too. That's where that whole she's so so powerful. She's so independent. She does anything. Oh, my God. Why would you propose to him? That's so weird. Why is it weird? Because it's never been done or because you feel like you should be waiting on someone waiting for your night and shiny. I mean, you got to think, look at all these Disney movies, bro. All these women wanted these men to save them. And then you got Mulan. Well. She saved him. Yeah, I mean, even like Beauty and the Beast. She saved him. She wasn't looking for no man to save her. She was just trying to find the right man. And not really, because the one she had in front of her, she was like, hell no, you ain't even it, bro. Mm-hmm. Come on, Gaston. Gaston. He was astonished. Is that is that the right word to use? He Astonishing. Was, no, he was... um baffled i guess you could say as to why she didn't want to be with him you know what i'm saying and you have those type also but that's beside the point the point is i think it's okay to have roles in your household if that's how you choose to live but make sure i think that it should be a choice of the amount of influence you have over your children and how they live their life because S- I, okay because making it such a um like making it such a big thing like this is how it's supposed to be yeah you know I what know i mean that. it's like well mm, mm, is yeah. that how it's supposed to be or is that just how you learned it yeah cuz i don't want i don't want roles in my house or in our house i want like just structure right i want it to but be but i think like structure comes with communication right and A lot of the time, you know, the way it's portrayed as men being the head of the household is like, oh, he makes the decisions for our family. And that's without that's without him ever coming to his wife and saying, "Bay, what do you think about? No, I made that mistake. Right. (laughs) But it's like, how many times do like how many times do you allow your husband to be head of household and make decisions for the family? And he's making the wrong decision. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you trust him because you know he has your best interest, but he keeps making the wrong decision. Is mm-hmm. he still considered head of household, or do you need to take over? Like, how does that work? Yeah. Or does he not have your best interest? And he's just doing stuff for himself because he ends up being selfish with a family. There's I mean, tons of people out there that's selfish oh, with a oh, family. Oh, trust me. I know. I'm just saying, though. Like, some people may see it as, oh, he thought that was what's best for our family, so... You know, we're going to rock with him till the end. But it's like, but if he keeps doing that, yeah. at what point do you as the mother or the wife, because it's your life that gets put into jeopardy, and that's a little dramatic, but your life is also affected by the decisions that he makes. And so if he's making decisions that are costly. pop, I got a pop quiz, right? Pop, Boom. Pop quiz? Pop quiz. Here we go. There is a couple. They have kids. Okay. How many? Let's say two. Okay. Uh, little Johnny. Oh, okay. Little Johnny needs new sneakers. <laughs> right? Okay. Big Johnny, the dad, Uh huh. goes to Best Buy, sees a brand new TV for half off. Mm-hmm. He buys the TV. He brings it home. He says, look, I got a brand new TV for half off. Does only Johnny need shoes or both the children need shoes? Both the kids. Okay. He needs the shoes. He brings it in. The wife goes, oh, my God, that's a new TV. He goes, yeah, I got it 
at a good deal. Wish your play. Mine? What's your my, what's your play? Cause I'll tell you, I'll say, what's your play? But then I'll I've heard a story like this. And I've t- and I will tell you the outcome of I'm, what okay. I'm the type priorities come before everything. Right. Right? If I'm putting everybody before me, you need to be putting everybody before you. But babe, the TV was half all. Hell, hell, hell no. Your TV was half off, but your 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 son's fucking feet are about to your your son's effing feet are about to fall out of his shoes. How the f did you think? Take that shit back. Matter of take that shit back right fucking now, right fucking now. And while you at it, go find the Lord because at this point, nigga, we need a divorce. That's a little dramatic, but you get what I'm saying. Like, that's how serious that is to me. That is very, very, very serious. You went and bought a toy for yourself because that's what it is. We didn't need it. You wanted it Mm -hmm. as opposed to your child or children that need something to physically function in the world. They needed these shoes, and you decided it was more important for you to get a TV because it was half off rather than go spend that money to get your kids shoes. You don't know. You know what I've heard. Um, um, I've heard this situation happen. She tripping. It's my money. I've heard that happen too. <laughs> I've actually heard that happen um, <laughs> a lot. Tripping. And I feel like it's my money. I feel like a lot of people think like that, and you're absolutely right. It is your money, but. The problem with that is that's your money, but that's also your kid that you helped 50% make. Mm, wow. And, and, and your your 50% is not being covered because your 50% is the financial aspect. My 50% is the nurturing aspect. I've done my part, so I'm going to need you to put your 50% in. Yeah. So my son is whole. So our children are whole because it doesn't make sense why you feel like it's okay for you to go to work and spend money on playthings when there are necessities needed in the home for your children to function. Now, it's one thing if I need shoes, I'll figure it out. It's another thing when the children who are defenseless, who cannot fend for themselves, who cannot go and make money, I mean, they can, but why should any child really up until the point of about 24 years old and that's being a little dramatic also, but why mm-hmm. should any child really have to fend for themselves in that way? I, listen, I believe that if you're going to take that that role of being the head of household, you need to be doing, you need to take that role. And if Johnny needs new shoes, Johnny better get new shoes. If your wife need new shoes, she better have them motherfuckers the, the next day. Your, your what is the sh- woman's response to... Oh. It's my money. I don't know why you tripping. Oh, you're right. That's some weak shit. Yeah. That's some real life that's why, weak shit. That's why when, um, like, I listen to you, and I listen to certain things you say, and I'll be like, boom. Let's say, like, uh, everything is good in the house, right? Mm-hmm. And you scroll, and you be like, oh, I want to see. I want these skims. They are so sexy. <laughs> okay. I'll put it on my counter. Boom. Skims. Because that's something that makes you feel good. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't mean that you need it, but guess what? You want it. I mean, as long as, I feel like as long as your household is fine, right. meaning the house itself mm-hmm. or the home itself, I should say, and the people within the home, including yourself, as long as everything is good and everybody is good, have fun with your money. Right. But don't be a complete dick because you go to work. Was it your decision? To go to work and for her to stay home? Was it a joint decision for you to go to work and her to stay home? Was it her decision to stay at home and you go to work? Like, what was the agreement made or did it just happen that way? Was there no... And this is the part that really fucked... I mean, messes up everything. Mm -hmm. There's no communication. How are you head of household but you don't have any conversation with anybody? 
How is there? How are you head of household? But no one knows what's happening. Only you're supposed to know what's happening. Only you deal with the bills. Only you know this. So at the end of the day, really, the only person that's suffering behind it is the woman. The woman, because she doesn't know anything. Because she doesn't know anything. She's outside looking in. So if anything happens to you, she don't know nothing. It's going to be even worse. So while you going to work and you get to eat first, I hope you're out here teaching your woman whatever it is that you're picking up along the way so that you guys are both dangerous and not just you. Yeah, I do that all the time. I, it's it's sad because I feel like if Apple was looking at our phone, they'd be like, are they about to take over the world or something? Because as much information as yeah. if we talk, we can be in a room together and we send this stuff to, what are you, a fish? I lost my mind. Oh, my God. Did you get eaten? I should have got some poke today. You know what I was thinking about in the shower one night? Did I choose the life that, you know how they say we choose our parents or we choose the families that we're born into? Mm -hmm. Did I choose the life that I was born into because I lived every other life already and this was the only one that I hadn't chosen yet or hadn't been into yet or one of the ones that I hadn't experienced yet? I'm going to put the uh, head blowing up on the screen for this part. I thought about that. I mean, people don't, everybody don't believe in that. Like reincarnation, reincarnation though. No. They be like, that Buddha. For, uh, that Buddha is, is fat. Stop. That's what they say. Stop. But yeah, I was thinking, that don't have nothing to do with what we were talking about, but I just thought about that when you said. So you talking about me. Fish. Jumping to, uh, it just made me think of like, oh, but fish. yeah, uh, but, but we've, let's, let's, <laughs> let's reel it back. But yeah, uh, we, we talked about roles. We talked about, what do y'all think about roles? Do you? It's not about roles, technically. I mean, it is, but it isn't. Because we've had this conversation before. It's just about the fact of men. Do you guys agree with the whole men eating first? Mm -hmm. Because he makes the money. He pays the bills. Like, do y'all agree with that? Or do y'all not agree? What is it that you What is it that you do agree with? And what is it that you don't agree with? And why? I would like to know. Um, Comment down below. But also, I would like to know. Do the roles reverse if he's a stay-at-home father? Yeah, we. Yeah. Does she eat first when he's a stay-at-home father? Mm -hmm. you, uh, because there are stay-at-home fathers. So, is the role reversed? Does he need to have dinner cooked when she gets home, and she needs to eat first before everybody else? I'm just curious. How does that work? Does the Bible tell you how that's supposed to work, or does the Bible not tell you that? Because the Bible doesn't know what real life was because Can they you? didn't live when we lived. I'm just really curious. Can you show me in the Bible where it says that? I can't the, show you the that. Men first. I can. I can. You. We can call your mom. I'm sure she'll know. Cause like I said, she don't. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So contradict the icky, you know. So a shifty, shifty. Yeah. You get the shifty, shifty shuffle. Yeah, I shuffle, get it. Okay. I get it. I get it. Ah! <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Do the roles reverse? Like, is there a law for that, or like rules or guidelines for that part? Right. Let's. Let's. Yeah. I mean, and I'm then like I'm gonna call it after this. Yeah, I, w I, I would like to know, and I would I want to know like if that's how your household is run. Either way, mm -hmm. whether it's she's at a stay at home wife, or he's a stay at home father, husband, mm -hmm. or he goes to work, or she goes to work. How does that work for you? <laughs> and what are you instilling in your children if you have children? Like, is that something that you're really like? this is how it's supposed to be, or is it just like, you know, me and your dad do it like this, or me and your mom do it like this, because this is what works for us. Right. Doesn't mean you have to, or yes, no, you should, because this is what the Bible's like. What is the dynamic? Of what it is. Um, because we know what ours is. We just function with each other. Right. You know, nobody is more important than the next. Um, nobody's role is bigger than the next. Mm -hmm. We don't necessarily have roles. We do everything. If he cooks, like my dad, my mom and dad, it was, I don't know. It was kind of like flip floppy mm -hmm. sometimes. Like my dad was in and out until I was about 12 and not that don't matter. He was in and out <laughs> until I was like 12. Right. So those years, my mom cooked. You know, she cooked dinner. We usually breakfast with, like, cereal or something we could cook ourselves, but dinner she usually cooked. Um, and then when my dad was in, he would cook. 
He would clean. You know, I've always, since I was a child, I've always seen my father cook. I've always seen my father clean. And But was that a role or was that just something he was just used to? That was that's what I was getting to because he was raised by women, yeah, all so women, and so thing? it was like this is what he knows. He knows how to cook because he was raised by. He just was telling me recently that he learned how to braid hair. His sister taught him how to braid his hair. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, is that because he was raised by women or is it just because he's a mannerable man? Because mm-hmm. you know it's saying? like I got do- It's like, oh, let me let, teach me how to do that. You know I've also I mean? seen my dad where times where he would cook and he would make his plate last. Yeah. But I've also seen my dad make my mom's plate first when we got home. Not that she would start eating before, because it was almost like he did it like, okay, here's your plate. But he had a plate coming right behind it for Mm -hmm. everybody else. So it wasn't like she got her plate and was sitting down and eating before everybody. It was just like she got her plate, then whoever was next, whoever was next, whoever was next. Mm -hmm. Um, So, yeah, I'm just like I've had multiple different types of dynamics in my family. We're going to call two people after this. Yeah, we're gonna call us. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Um, so yeah, I want to know what y'all dynamic is. Do y'all agree with the whole men being head of household and why, or do you not agree and why, and what your dynamic is, and how do you instill whatever it is, beliefs or whatever that you instill in your children? Um, right. And 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 what do you think about like the the reverse side of it? Mm-hmm. Women women going to work and men being home like does that Change how does that work yeah, yeah that i'm work? I'm like i'm genuinely curious so i mean but when Listen. i was working ah, mm. when i was working the role did reverse for us no i just no i don't it reversed but not i don't think it was like an on purpose thing it was just like at the time you were home and i was working and y'all would pick me up from work and Usually, depending on what it was, I mean, because you're not a big cooker, but depending on what you were cooking, if you were cooking, then you already had it on. Is it because that's what the meal consisted of, already having it on, or you knew that I wanted that? Like, I, th- I kind of little both. Like, I knew that you wanted it, and I knew that you would want something good coming home from work. And but we, see, but I don't we, think it was a role thing. I think it was no. because I love you. I know that you like this, so I'm right, going to do right, this. I right. don't think it was more like. Well, I'm not home, and because I'm not home, you need to be taking care of the kids. You need to be clean. Because right, when I nah. came home, it was like, okay, well, what needs to be done around the house? Like, I didn't care to yeah. come home and clean if I had to clean or cook if I had to cook. But I feel like that's how I would be. That's how I am when I come home. Yeah. Like, oh, if shit. you come home in time, well, early enough, I should say, not in time, but if you come home early enough, then yes. Even if I came home at bright, I mean, if well, I well, by home. the time you if you getting off late, I've already cooked because I don't let them no, eat late. No, what so. I'm trying to say is if I got off. At like two a.m., I would come home and be like, "I love you back." Oh, back. Like, you well, know I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know, like like nothing matters of me doing a fifteen hour, sixteen hour day because that's not work to me. Yeah, you know what I mean. Even coming home, rubbing your feet, and doing all that stuff that's not work to me. That's what I like to do. Right, right, right. So even when you got off work, it was just like, I know your feet gonna hurt because you've been standing all day. Literally, that shit used to irk. And I know you'd be hungry. And it'd be late, and you just be wanting to, because you got to go to work the next day. So I just want to make you feel comfortable. Yeah, but I I'm not no chump either, so it didn't really, like. Your feet was hurting. Yeah, my feet hurt, but I wasn't like, oh, my God, I'm so tired. I can't do anything. I wasn't. Why is everything so country with you? <laughs> was it country? I can't do everything. I'm just saying. Well, go ahead. I wasn't, like, mm-hmm. life wasn't over. Yeah, Because I was a woman going to work, and. No, I just felt like I had the time, so why not do it? That part. You know what I mean? That, like that's, I, I guess that's, like, that's why I'm asking. So the if time. the roles are reversed, how, like, how it go? Just let me know how it go. Let us there, know how it go. Because there's men that be like, well, your mom can do that when she get home. I've heard that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't do that. I've heard that. I don't change diapers. Well, if you don't get your stinky ass <laughs> over here, let me change that diaper. I've heard that. You know, so. So, yeah, let us know in the comments. Bing, bing. Don't forget to subscribe. Yep. Turn on your notifications. Notifications. Follow us on Instagram. Instagram. At talk underscore that. that. I'm not really sure what it's called on Instagram, just, actually. Just, just find it. Talk that shit with the note. But it's there. Um, mm. And any other social? No, nah, that's all. Yeah. Oh, TikTok. Oh, 
TikTok. And then Tiki Taki. Is it Talk That Shit with the Melvins? Talk That Shit with the Melvins on TikTok. Yeah, so there's that. Don't forget to, um, you know, hit us it. Uh-huh. Let us know, and we will catch y'all in the next one. Uh-huh. Y'all just listen to Talk That Shit with the Melvins. We out this thing. Bye. Peace out.